guys, in this video we're going to be working through an exam style question. Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at an exam style question focusing on neutralisation reactions and salts. The question starts by telling you that salts are produced in neutralisation reactions between acids and alkalis. And it then asks you to give the name and chemical formula of the salt that is produced in the reaction between hydrochloric acid and potassium hydroxide. Well, this is an example of one of those neutralisation reactions between hydrochloric acid and the alkali potassium hydroxide. The name of the salts produced in this type of reaction always follow a standard pattern. The first part of the name of the salt comes from the metal that's present within the alkali. So in this example, we're using potassium hydroxide and we're therefore going to form a potassium salt. The second part of the name of the salt is determined by the acid that you use. And you'll need to remember that whenever you use hydrochloric acid in a neutralisation reaction, the salt that you form is going to be a chloride salt. So therefore, the full name of the salt that we form in this reaction is going to be potassium chloride. We're also asked to give the chemical formula of this salt. We know that chlorine is a group 7 halogen and that it therefore tends to gain one electron in order to form a 1 minus halide anion and chlorine is no exception, forming the chloride anion which has the chemical formula of Cl minus. In potassium chloride, this Cl minus anion is paired with a potassium K plus cation, typical of the sort of cation formed by a group 1 metal like potassium. Therefore, the chemical formula of potassium chloride comes from the match of one potassium K plus cation with one Cl minus chloride anion, giving us KCl as our formula. In this question, you'll get one mark for potassium chloride and one mark for your KCl. Part B asks us, is this salt soluble? For questions about the solubility of salts, there are some certain rules that you'll need to remember. And one of these rules is that all chloride salts, except silver chloride and lead chloride... Hi guys! To continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCC chemistry and combined science videos, just click on the Snap Revive smiley face. Join me today and together let's make chemistry at GCSE a walk in the park.